Hello everyone and welcome back to Never Alone where we are here with our young girl and the fox who is helping her to work our way through an abandoned village in the middle of a blizzard. Oh boy, oh boy, here it goes, here it goes. Okay, where we're going now? I'm not exactly sure, we're gonna do our best. All right, get ready to jump, get ready to jump. Where we're jumping to? Oh my goodness. I really didn't think we were gonna make that. Oh, thank goodness we made it, okay. So it looks like we need to bring, no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so she is coming. So now, that, look at this, the spirit guides are guiding the little girl as the fox carries on. Okay, hang on, fox. All right, the fox is gonna wiggle through here. <gasps> no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think we were legitimately just getting to the end of the blizzard too. The fox needs to summon the spirit guides so that the little girl can jump across them. And then we'll be able to go ahead. Well, I don't even think these are spirit guides now that I'm thinking about it. These are just spirits who happen to be invested in listening to where the fox goes. Okay, good, we had to make that jump. If we didn't, oh, the fate of the little girl is in our hands. Okay, this looks suspicious, so we're gonna walk across fast. Equally suspicious, so we'll walk across fast. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> no! Did he just kill our fox? Oh my gosh, I am not okay with that. Oh my gosh. I am really not okay with that. You brat. Okay, got him. Got him in the face. Come on. <gasps> he legitimately killed our fox. What? What? Okay, he is not just a little bad. He's evil. Burned, I mean, burning down a whole village should have clued us in, but what? Oh, I have goosebumps. What are we... I can't believe this. What are we going to do? Now the fox has become a spirit itself. Oh my gosh. You guys. such an empty place where there's not even other life nearby. Mm -hmm. You can't even look around and find birds or, or trees or anything like that to soothe you. I wonder if she's saying a little prayer for it. lost spirit after all so maybe the fox was a boy after all the fox was reborn into a new form or was it who he really was this whole time oh my goodness so is this the new the new form for the fox and does it have to do with animal spirits Whoa. We are taught that there's no hierarchy. It's not everything else and then man, you know, <laughs> humans on top and they're separate from everything. We're taught that everything is, is equal and that mm. all the animals have a human form or can be seen in a human form. And so they have I just wonder if as it works the other way around or too. more intelligence you know in fact have a lot to teach people and so that's how these transformations can happen it's if the animal wants you to see it in its human form there's a story 
where a man comes up to an ice hole and then there realizes there's there's another man in his parker that's that's got stuck in the net you know <laughs> and he's just stuck like that oh can you can you let me out please help me you know and so then he lets the man out but then realizes that was actually a, a seal no oh. that was a seal man and just because that seal wanted that help that seal allowed itself to be seen in human form that's so fascinating, but it raises so many questions about, like, why you would go hunting to me, too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Well, now the fox has potentially changed its form. And now we can guide the spirits around, it seems. Okay. Floating high above the forest floor. The fox continued to reveal the beauty of the helping spirits. Oh, little girl! Okay, yeah, if we're gonna help the beauty of the spirits, we're gonna need to be a little careful. I'm glad the snow was very forgiving, but I have to wonder, like, what on earth? Where are we? If we're able to find such a huge forest. And once again, he has to guide the, the spirits to be able to help. So let's see what he wants to do next. Let's see, does he... Aha! So he guides the spirits like this. And then... Now we don't have a physical form. So I wonder... Can we push this somehow? Oh, what if the girl knocks it down? There we go! Okay. There we go! Let's keep an eye on the, the fox spirit because he might be able to guide us. Oh, here comes the storm again. Let's actually see. He could explore maybe down here. Alright, so it looks like we might need to come this way. Aha! Oh, hang in there, little girl! And then, can he guide the spirit? Okay, oh, I see. We might have to rely on the breeze. So let's wait just a moment. There we go. We needed that extra boost. And now, I think he can go ahead and guide. Here we are. No! Little girl, are you okay? <laughs> Man, the spirits really do not recognize her at all. But again, oh, look, a bunny just ran off. That was so cute! But I find that kind of fascinating, like we've talked about before. Just the idea that maybe the spirits legitimately have no idea she's there. Like, they are... It's kind of like how, how butterflies and other animals can see in spectrums that we can't. What if for the spirits, they legitimately just cannot see or feel whatever the little girl is? It's just completely a reality that's completely invisible to them. That's one of my theories about this, at least. Alright, let's see. Can she throw her bola down there? She could try, but I think what we need to do... Alright, let's have the fox spirit come this way and investigate. Alright, I think the little girl's gonna need to rely on the wind. Here it comes. Yes! Okay. So we do need to just trust the wind. Oh, 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 okay. So don't go there. Okay, careful. And it looks like there might be another tree spirit here. Yes, look! The trees themselves came alive. Reaching out to greet the fox. And help the girl on her journey. There we go, and the fox can... Woo. Okay, <laughs> have to try that again. The wind is both helpful and something that you have to kind of struggle with. Come this way, come this way, spirit, please. All right, and then we'll get the fox to guide the spirit up. And then we need to work kind of with the elements. 
my favorite story of working with the elements would definitely be Avatar The Last Airbender. So I guess this would be airbending. <laughs> Trying to work on all of this. Alright, let's see. I can guide... Aha! Let's guide one of these little spirits down. Then the girl can wake it up with the bola, which seems to be... I guess, as we were saying, if none of the spirits recognize the girl otherwise, maybe the bola is such a vital and important artifact because it links between those two worlds. The only link that they seem to recognize at all about her. Oh, there we go. Alright, really? That's a bit of a big jump. I don't think we're going to make it on our own. Let me explore up here. Almost. Ooh, okay, careful, careful. Aha, that's what I thought. Too big a jump to make on our own. Easy there, easy there. But it does seem like... Looks like the trees can only grow like in certain directions, maybe? Maybe. All right, let's try this again. We'll wait for the wind. Whoa! Okay, that was a lot of wind. <laughs> All right, it looks like we can guide this spirit over here. And that spirit there. Okay, careful little girl. Hmm. Do we need this spirit right here? Maybe he's just the spirit of the tree that's curious. Because it looks like this spirit can carry us okay. Oh, little girl! <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, and then the little fox spirit gets so sad. Oh my gosh. All right, so this one's a little tricky for sure. However, now that we have some of the basics of it, I see, maybe this is so if she slips off, We'll be able to catch her again. Okay. Come on down. Ah. It, it's kind of interesting to see how the spirits are even affected by the wind. Alright, so she seems to be doing okay here. Maybe this spirit has a chance to disappear, so that's why it's important. Ooh. To bring it down a little bit more? Or not? Maybe he is just a curious tree spirit that you don't need to worry about. Okay, stay close, fox. Oh, I see. Maybe the fox needs to go on a bit of an adventure. But because of that... You know, this spirit will disappear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see. Okay. Can we bring this spirit up at all? Maybe? Okay, I think this one's supposed to go here. No, 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 little girl! Oh! I see, so we're supposed to convince the two tree spirits to come together. Never trust a, a wind spirit is kind of the lesson I'm quickly learning here. Because they seem to very quickly lose track of what they were doing and decide, ah, oh, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and just disappear. The tree spirits, perhaps, might have the best link between the two, it seems. Because they are literally rooted. Pun kind of intended there. Oh, no! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, little girl. Because the tree spirits are literally rooted to the world. Oh, now I want to watch Princess Mononoke so bad. Oh, hang in there. Okay, let's bring this guy down. And then I am learning very quickly that we rely on the tree spirits to come together and give us a little bit more of a stable spot to stay. And while we try to leave the little girl secure there, we'll come over here. And if possible, let's see. Yeah, here's another spirit. Okay, if possible, I think we're supposed to connect these ones. 
Okay, no fox. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay. Phew. Come on. Come on, fox. Don't leave the girl's side at this point. I know it's a bit of a high order. Because of the wind. However... Oh man, this spirit really does not want to follow us. Are we going to be stuck here? Okay, I've just started to attract the attention. Go, 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 go! No! <laughs> How to attract all their attention? We're just trapped in the trees at the moment. All right, let's see if I can get these spirits speaking to each other, friends. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get these spirits speaking to each other, but it does make me question like which spirits are are present, which ones are ready to interact with the world, which ones will ignore the little girl. Wind. There doesn't seem to be a spirit of fire, but considering we're in the middle of the Arctic and in a world surrounded by snow, it makes a lot of sense to me. Oh dear, oh dear. How there wouldn't be a spirit of fire, and it does make me feel really curious about how there definitely was a spirit of of water. A lot of spirits in the water. Alright, well I'm going to try to get her to a somewhat safe place, and then figure out how we can go ahead and get all these spirits working together through the trees to be able to keep her safe. But if you guys could... Oh dear. Can she really make the big jump? I don't know about that. Maybe? But if you guys could, do please leave a like for the adventures of this little girl. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, nope! <laughs> oh no! Do please consider subscribing, but most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye